Good morning everyone. Welcome to Stove Tuesday. I hope you're all doing well. PCB Fire Dragon. Yeah, we've all seen these. Cheap as chips. And um, they work off these little tablet things. I'm not going to talk about them today. I'm going to talk about something slightly different. Now, you put your fuel in there usually, which could be... Uh, your fire dragon tablet your gel or you could even put alcohol in there but what happens if perhaps you wanted to use an alcohol stove can you use one mm, that's a very good question well trangier not a chance not unless you can build all the sides up then the whole thing's pointless anyway however Oh, by the way, this is one I repaired. I did a video on this. If you're interested, um, this, by the way, is as rough as a badger's ass, <laughs> but it does does actually function. So I kind of proved me point in a roundabout sort of way, I guess. Anyway, moving on, where was I? So if you want to use an alcohol stove, could you use something like this? which is a, a Vargo, this is the converter stove, which is um, very similar to the Triad, but it hasn't got the three little legs around the outside. As you can see from that, fits in there beautifully and you should have enough head space for it to work. I've also got a speed stove and there's a back. These speed stoves are great, by the way. They're like a wick stove. And you put your fuel in and it doesn't kind of run everywhere. That'll also fit with enough headspace as well. I've got another one here, speed stove. I'm quite a big fan of these, by the way. Can you tell? <laughs> this is a smaller one. And this is excellent. It weighs just about nothing. And that's even smaller, gives you a slight bit more head space. And with this one, because of the size, you can even, if you wanted to, if you've got a spare Trangia simmer ring, you can use the simmer ring with it as well. So as a little compact unit, that is pretty awesome. Anyway, enough of my ramblings for now. Breakfast time. Cheese toasty. I was going to give that a go. And um, try not to burn it. And see how it all works. Well, we've got some cheese, some onion and some bread. And we got our little stove. Let's go and have some breakfast and try not to burn it.
So there you have it. There's no reason why you can't cook a nice toasty on a PCB cooker with an alcohol stove, providing you've got one that's quite low. This one is just over 20 mil. So anything in that kind of range should be absolutely fine. You could even make one yourself. A word of warning though, there was a lot of heat generated out here. So what I had to do was keep taking the um, frying pan off just to let it kind of like cool down a bit, but keeping the lid on that I had in order to keep that heat inside. So you haven't got that directly heat coming up and burning it too much. I'll burn it a little, but to be honest, I'm not overly bothered. I thought that went quite well. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Time to finish me breakfast. I'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching.